hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given equation that involves radicals and eventually we're going to check our answer for any extraneous solution so let's go ahead and get started to solve this equation the very first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this radical the square root in order to get rid of that thing we want to square both sides okay so what happens is this square and square root they undo each other we ended up with x plus 3 equal to x plus 1 square when you uh, take the square of this thing that's going to give you x square plus 2x plus 1 and just to make sure that I use this fact to expand this x plus 1 square. You can look it on the right hand side. Now I want you to move everything on the right hand side. I want you to move x on this right hand side and 3 on the right hand side. So what happens is once you move everything we got a 0 on the left hand side. So x square plus 2x and plus 1 is already there once you move this x on the other side become negative x and this positive 3 becomes negative 3 so this once you simplify this thing that's going to become x square plus 1x minus 2 and put a 0 on this side doesn't make any difference now we're gonna solve for x so we can see that this can be easily factored out. If it can be factored out, that would be really simple way to do so solution. So I can put down x uh, plus 2 and x minus 1, isn't it? Because this positive 2 and negative 1, when you multiply, that's going to give you this last number and if you add negative uh, positive 2 and negative 1 when you add them it's going to give you positive 1 the middle number so we got it now we're going to split it up x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0 that means x equal to negative 2 is one of our solution and x equal to one is another solution and now we want to check our answer for any extraneous solution so since we are heady we already have two solutions negative two and one we're going to check at a time so let's go ahead and look at x equals to negative two c is it going to work let's plug it in wherever you see x plug it in for negative two so see where the left hand side equals to right hand side so this is negative 2 plus 3 my question is this thing is it equal to once again x is negative 2 plus 1 negative 2 plus 3 makes 1 square root is it equal to question mark is negative 1 so square root of 1 is simply 1 is it equal to negative 1? Are the both sides equal? No, they are not. So that means, if, if that means the both sides are not equal, that means x equals to negative 2 is not a valid solution. So thus, x equal to negative 2 is an extraneous solution. Now, we're going to check x equal to other solution is x equal to 1 see what happens now once again we're going to plug it in this our original equation so this is going to become x is for 1 plus 3 my question is the is the left hand side equal to 1 plus 1 so that's going to become 4 with the square root is it equal to 2 so square root of 4 equals to 2 equals to 2 is it true yes it is so that means it is check so that means this is our valid solution so thus x equal to 1 is our only valid solution so that means 
x equals to negative 2 is not our solution and this is the only solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.